Westerners had gone to England as holders of the prize Wizen Trophy in July and delivered a serious blow to England when they won the first test at Southampton. It was the first time since 2007 against South Africa that a regional side had won the first test of a series away from home against a higher ranked nation. They head to New Zealand having not won a test series there since 1995 and happens to be the last time they also won a test in the country. For such fortunes to change, Simmons is saying it will take an accumulating effort. We're trying to build up and, and continue to build up and I think you, you, you hit the nail on the head there. We have to take that South Af Southampton performance and just try and see what are the points we need to, to, to work on to, to better that. And we have to better because I think everybody, as you say, is very difficult to beat teams at home now. And we have to be able to play as, as best a cricket as we can play on each given day in, a, in, in, in any test match to be able to beat um, the teams high up on the table, of which New Zealand is one of them. So I think we're going to try and take a lot of points from Southampton, but we have a lot of improving to do in order to beat New Zealand. Some of the West Indian cricketers had arrived in New Zealand on October 30th after a 54-hour journey from Barbados. They began training in small groups today and are still under the 14-day quarantine. The first of three T20s will start on November 27th, followed by two tests, which will start on December 3rd. New Zealand are ranked number two as opposed to West Indies at number eight on the ICC test rankings. For the newsroom, Akim Green.